And the reason we're focused on amphibious aviation is because if you look at the places we live, uh, I live in South Florida, and I, we operate obviously to the Bahamas, we operate up in New York City. Those places are really, they have regions that are really difficult to get to, whether it's an archipelago, islands, or you have a lot of traffic. And look at the areas around here too, it's the same, right? The Caribbean has airlift challenges. Amphibious aviation has always been a way to kind of bring that connectivity to these regions, uh, and it does it in a way that doesn't impact the environment. So a lot of the smaller islands, in order to bring industry and tourism and visitors, you need to bring you know, people. And the only way to do it is by boat or by airplane. And normally when you bring airplanes in, you have to build a runway, you have to build a major airport. It costs hundreds of millions of dollars and takes a good piece of that land away from uh, you know, whether it's development or preservation. Seaplanes does it in a way that's very low impact. So we could bring, uh, we could put a small dock in an area, and you guys will see the dock here behind us shortly, for example, and you could create airlift for that area with amphibious aviation. But the challenge in amphibious aviation is it is very dynamic. It's not as, I would say, easy to land on a runway, right, as it is to land on water. So, or land on water as it is to land on a runway. So in order to do this, I would say, in a way that you can scale it and grow it, you have to create a good um, standard operating procedures in a training program. So we developed a training program based on what I learned uh, in my time in the US Navy. And as a result, we've trained over 90 commercial seaplane pilots. And last year alone, in our current meetings, we've flown 35,000 people. We're on track to fly over 45,000 people. When Hurricane Dorian hit uh, a few weeks ago in the northern Bahamas, we flew 200 flights in remote regions. Uh, carrying over 900 evacuees and over 200,000 uh, uh, pounds of aid and supplies. And we were able to do that by creating that training program. And the reason I'm bringing that up now is um, as we look at uh, bringing our company here to Puerto Rico, which we're very excited about, the idea is actually to create jobs here as well, not just indirectly through the tourism product and bring an airlift to some other location, but also to partner with the schools here and train a local workforce here to actually develop the airline as a true Puerto Rico. We're very excited to be here.